Hello everybody and welcome back to Emily's Upcycled Home. Please shop my items on Facebook Marketplace with the link in the description. Follow me on my business page for updates, reels, and new items. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget that notification bell for more DIY videos. Let's go ahead and jump into project number one. Now I have these three spindle pieces that I already cut. And I'm coming in with the IOD Cameo Mold and the IOD Paper Clay. And we're going to make some moldings to decorate the fronts of these um, spindles here. And now I'm just coming in with the paper clay and I'm just pushing it into each slot or each molding that I want. And I'm going to come in here and place them onto um, the fronts of the spindles. And these are going to be fit put um drilled holes on the top and then we're going to add some little bottle brush trees here but i'm going to paint them and layer them up here but first of all we're just going to come in and we're going to make our moldings for the front decor piece and to glue all the moldings on i just come in regular wood glue gorilla glue and i put all the glue on the backings of each molding and then i go ahead and reapply that molding back onto our wood little spindles and I'm just using my finger because I have this big old bottle that is needs to be used up and I just couldn't find my little container so I'm using my finger here and I'm just gonna let these dry overnight and these are the bottle brush trees that I bought off of Target I just pulled off the bottom bases and I'm gonna drill um, holes off camera and here i'm just showing you i saw found a solution for my paint getting stuck over and over i just bought a little chapstick and i used that vaseline or chapstick to run that around the edge of my paint container there so my top lid doesn't get stuck to the base and here i am just coming in with that fusion cast iron color and we're going to go ahead and give these all one coat of that cast iron here the molding isn't dry and i was so impatient i just went ahead and painted over it and first i just thought i was going to come in lightly and then i decided to just go ahead and cover the whole thing in that same cast iron color and i repeat that process for all three covering the whole molding and these will dry overnight and then we'll come in and add um, our next layers in after the clay is fully dried. Now you don't have to paint when your clay is wet. It's just something I do because I lack the patience to wait for it. But here they are dry. And we're going to come in with this. This is acrylic paint and it's a metallic copper color. And um, I'm just going to come in with my finger. And now if you saw my dark and moody um, video this is kind of the same concept here we're just coming in with a copper color instead of that burnt orange color that i used on that one so i'm coming in here once again i'm going to bring in my blending brush and i'm going to blend all this paint that i added on here into the piece and give it a more smoother transition and blended look and I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that same process for um, both the smaller one and this larger one. And then we're going to go ahead once again with my finger and then come back in with our blending tool and blend that up. Now after I have all these blended, I do come in with some DIY dark wax and add another um kind of dimension here and blend in all the colors even further and here you just see me with my finger because some of the spots came out a little bit too dark so I just bring in my finger there and then wherever I need to add extra I went in and added like especially on that smaller one and here I'm going to come in with that dark wax and you want to make sure that you um blend it out on a piece of paper before you add because you don't want a lot of wax on your brush because a little bit of wax goes a long way and we're just going to go ahead and put this wax on all three of the pieces 
and then I'll come in here with a paper towel and go ahead and wipe off the excess. Now off camera, I went ahead and drilled little holes at the top of these, um, these stands here. And we're just going to go ahead and add in our bottle brush trees. And some of them I just had to trim the wire a little bit at the base. And then I come in and trim some of those flyaway little stems that are poking out that I don't like. And I'm not going to glue these because I want them to be able to transition into another piece. If you wanted to add a different kind of top to it or a different kind of tree or anything else that you want flowers or whatever so we're going to go ahead and not glue these in so that there's an easier transition so you can even pack them up easier and change them out for other decor items but like i said i go ahead and add those trees and then we'll move on to project number two now i thrifted this mirror a while ago and i'm not going to keep it a mirror the mirror is not in that great of condition so then I'm going to go ahead and cover it with some textured paint here and once again I'm coming in with that sea spray by Dixie Belle texture additive and I'm coming in with that same cast iron color from fusion paint and I'm going to go ahead and mix this up in a little container now I didn't measure I don't measure I'm not big on measuring but I'm going to just gonna go ahead and mix this up to the consistency that I want and then we're going to bring in, once again, my Fusion paintbrush as well. And we're going to go ahead and just stipple this textured paint onto the whole mirror and the framing of this piece. Now, I'm putting this paint on first. And I don't really know which direction this is going to go in. I just know that the mirror was a little scratched up and... Um, I need to cover it so I don't know if I'm gonna keep those things at the bottom the little hooks I, don't, I really don't know so you guys are gonna work with me here on these pieces and see what comes out so we'll go ahead and just go ahead and stipple all this paint onto this with our texture and then we'll go ahead and let this dry overnight and then we'll come back and look at the piece and see which direction we go in and like always, I'll have the link in my description for um, the Fusion Pink products and the Dixie Belle products that I'm using here, as well as the IOD and where you can shop with them. And that'll be an affiliate link with Julie's Designs and Signs. So she has a bunch of um, supplies you can buy, as well as her own um, thrifted finds that she has on her website there. So if you like that stuff, you can go ahead and check that out. And if you want to use any of these products, go ahead and check that out as well. So here it is. I'm not going to worry about full coverage here. I'm going to probably have to come back in and stipple up some more, just like kind of paint it. But I'm just trying to cover as much as the mirror as I can. So after it dried, the next step here was to come in with Cathedral Taupe, still by the Fusion Paint line. And I went ahead and just um, painted it as, you know, gave it a like a rustic look here. So I wasn't really concerned about full coverage. I just went over it as many times as I want. And you can see how we build that texture here and all that, that um, rustic look here. So we're going to let this dry and I was fiddling around with moldings, but I decided not to. I went ahead and went a simpler look with this piece by just adding a transfer. And this is just a wreath transfer from the Mer Very Merry Christmas catalog from ILD products. And I'm just coming in here with my scissors and trimming it the best I can to fit into the spot I need it to go into. And um, the good thing about that is there's some grid lines there that I can follow. So we're going to go ahead and release the image from the backing and place it in the center of our upcycled piece here. And taking the tool that ILD sends with all its transfers packing, we're just going to go ahead and rub that image onto the surface and then pull off 
plastic area and then don't forget to rub it in a little further so that um, the image is secure to the back of this piece. Now here I'm trying to pull up that plastic, but I don't have nails, so it's not really working. So then I decided to just, you know what, there's a lip here, so I'm going to come in from the bottom now and repeat the process of just transferring that image in and pulling up that plastic as I go ahead and um, release that transfer onto the piece. So here we are with all our transfer secured on here. And I was thinking of adding more to this like moldings or something but I decide to not but I do come in with the distress inks and go around the edges and when then we're going to come in and we're going to go ahead and seal this piece now if I decide to add a bird or anything like that to this piece you guys will see it in the final um, products but for right now I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and leave this piece simple and that way you can add your own embellishments um, and decorate this in your home it does have the hooks on the back to hang and i did leave the two little hooks on the bottom and this is just me coming in with a diy top coat to seal everything and then this project will be completed as well don't forget to catch me live over on my facebook business page moving on to project number three so i found some more unfinished pieces in my stash and this looks like I put a wood square piece on a spindle piece and have a hole in it so we're gonna go ahead and add a bottle brush tree to this piece and first of all I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it first and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with that hole but I'm gonna try a few things and see what comes out here now, I'm going to go ahead and come in with that same cathedral taupe in the fusion paint line. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a coat of that color. Mm -hmm. And right now, I'm just not going to worry about full coverage. I'm just trying to get um, the paint onto the piece and see what direction I want to go here. And like always, I'll go ahead and put my link in for... Um, to purchase the fusion paint products that I'm using here as long as the as as well as the IOD products I use and I'm going to come in also with some paper clay by IOD so all that will be on that one link that I'm going to put into my descriptions to shop with Julie's designs and signs so now that I have the first coat on there I'm going to come in and decide how I'm going to cover that hole in the spindle now you can also just use um, a, your hot glue gun and fill up in that hole to um, to fill up the hole and make it smooth on the outside and then just paint over it. But I'm going to come in with some paper clay and some IOD transfers. Now I thought I was going to come in with this trimming IOD packet from the um, trimmings 3 molds. And you're gonna see me change my mind. Now, I thought I wanted to make a band here and it didn't quite work out the way I wanted, but on these molds here, they had the little measurements of you on how much product to use as far as, mostly I think for um, resin, it works really well. I haven't really done too much resin, but that's what I hear. But I'm gonna go ahead and um, come in with some paper clay and try to work this through and like I said I do change my mind and I just wanted to put this piece in here so that you guys and you guys are not too scared to um, try things and try new things and if they don't work out they just don't work out it's not in your vision it wasn't for this piece and you just move on to the next piece of what to use and sometimes the product just sits there for a minute until you figure it out but like I said, go ahead and just jump in, be creative, don't be scared of your, your pieces and the inspiration of where you draw from, just go for it, you guys. So now I have that little rose medallion on there, and I'm going to just come in with the second coat of the Cathedral Tote by Fusion. And I was thinking I wanted to put a lot of layers on this piece, but then I decide not to. I'm going to just go simple here as well. 
and I'm just going to put the second coat in. I'm going to come in with our tree and I decided against the bottle bush tree. I went with this tree instead. I add a cute little um, velvet ribbon that's red on the top and then I want the pieces to stand out a little bit more so I come in very lightly with some DIY wax and blend that into the creases and into that little medallion to pull out some definition and some um, some of the um, architectural pieces or salvage look that is on there. I want those pulled out as well. So I went in, like I said, with the DIY dark wax and just highlighted those pieces and deepened that tech that the looks that they have in all the curves of the wood and after this i'm going to set this aside let this thoroughly dry and then this project will be done as well and here are our finished products Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.